Hi, this is Joshua again. This is a uh, video 225. I've actually done vids right up to 250, but I'm interjecting uh, these this two-part series here uh, about this new graphic gasification technology to be merged with the Joe pipe in order to produce uh, cyclonic swirl. And most of the gasifiers have been looking and studying that and, and researching. Uh, I haven't seen all that much on cyclonic swirl. And uh, uh, you take a look at the, the way a tornado spins. Imagine that tornado being filled with fire. That would make the best gas of fire or pyrolysis unit in existence. So why not use the principles set forth in nature? And uh, I'm going to turn this around so you actually see the upright version of it. I already gave a talk on this. My uh, battery ran out, so I basically had to recharge it. Okay, let's keep it about there. Just a quick overview again. And uh, you can see where uh, the wood is. I got it the right way. I got it upside down. Hang on. I know something was up here. Anyway, in front of you is open source energy. And uh, just in the last little bit, a couple of days, I became uh, good friends with. Uh, uh, <clears throat> Donald Collis and uh, he's down there in the southern states we've been talking back and forth and that and he said that he's more than glad to host the uh, Joe Pipe technology so he's uh, going to be working on that when he has time uh, I'd just like to uh, uh, show off his website there and uh, it has to do with open source energy whatever that might be and uh, certainly the Joe pipe technology would qualify to be uh, <coughs> listed under his website and I uh, just like to put a plug in for him saying that he he loves building websites so if you need a website designed give Don a call all right here's the swirl device in the upright position, the lighting is not the best here. Okay, this is right. You can see where the the wood is here. This is more or less uh, about a cubic yard gasifier or process unit. You, know, you have your your ash pit where everything drops down, and uh, the ash pit is actually made up of. Uh, uh, swirl plates so everything swirls so you actually get a swirling donut in there effect and that go the whole thing causes a swirl around the entire gasifier and uh, to where the the air is cooling the gas uh, along with the, the water plenum that's not drawn in there this is just a rough sketch I drew this up today and so I'm just going, going over it now and so this will help to fill in the missing pieces that I <coughs> what I explained in video one a little closer view of this and uh, so basically you got the the, the Joe pipe here <coughs> and you got a cyclonic swirler around it the air comes into the swirl device it's heated by the Joe pipe and by the rising up of the wood gas so your air uh, coming in to, to start up the system is superheated so it's not going to take long to build up a, a bed of charcoals which uh, begins the system. And uh, at that point you should be able to turn off your Joe pipe. You got your coals going. Then up top you would have a, uh, uh, <clears throat> a draw fan to actually draw in the air back. So the air would be drawn uh, into the system and up through. Or drawn into the system, the air would be pulled from the outside in this way but as the air is being pulled in it would be superheated in the in the process and uh, there's still a little more detail in this but I can see a lot of potential 
and uh, I can see the same design working for a home unit uh, working for commercial applications you could use it as a gasifier pyrolysis system or you could use it as a variable gasifier pyrolysis system you'd be able to make heat uh, and wood gas at the same time you'd be able to generate enough heat to uh, heat boilers home heating and uh, also to produce wood gas to run a genset or generator so you can actually make your heat and your power at the same time and everything is based on cyclonic swirl there's no straight air going into this unit at all and all the gas fires that I've studied works on the principle of straight air and not full cyclonic, cyclonic swirl okay <clears throat> let's get rid of that there's the open source energy guy again and I want to go click out of there and I want to click on to Windows Live Mail anybody's interested uh, I don't know if it picks it up or not my new Addy for responses to the Joe Pipe is JoePipe at live.co.uk and uh, so if you want to reach me concerning Joe Pipe technology or responses you can do so at JoePipe live JoePipe at live.co.uk alright let's get out of here I want to go to Where are we? Wanted to go up to the YouTube. I think I X'd them out already. Okay. Uh, let's bring him back up again. I don't have the YouTube up. But uh, because of my Manchild002 account <coughs> froze up at video 209, I re. Uh, did another account and my handle there is uh, similar to Joe Pipe to my uh, hotmail address it's actually Joe Pipe 101 and uh, so if you if you see Joe Pipe 101 that's uh, <clears throat> my new new email account for YouTube so Joe Pipe 101 and Mantel, Manchild 002 it's the same person just one's working and one is not I don't know why okay did I have anything more all right I sure like to hear back from you guys who are into gasification all that Don's quite a bit into gasification I'm just gonna put this here Put my webcam over there that fell over and I'm gonna show you this this I drew up last week and it can hold a whole cord of wood just imagine that a whole cord of wood, wood turning into charcoal imagine the amount of wood smoke you could get off of that you could even throw in car tires even tractor tires and you can make so much gasoline from this you have a six-way Joe pipe reactor system in the bottom to, to get it going. You know, if you had a big induction fan to pull the air through this, you would be pumping out the wood gas. I think we're coming to the end of this video 225. Stay tuned for the rest. I'll try to get the, the rest of the uh, 29 videos uploaded by the weekend. Thanks.